Hello and welcome to this edition of Al Sports Update. Alongside Seth Wozniak, I'm Danielle Meslini. Edberg Olsen Hall opened in 2000 as Temple University's first football-only facility. Twelve years later, the complex that has become the team's home was ready for an upgrade. Okay, Brandon, I was just talking to Devin and uh, asking him a couple questions. I'm going to now ask you those questions. Who is the funniest guy on this team? Funniest guy on this team? I guess if I don't say Devin, there's, there's going to be a problem, right? Brandon is on the verge of rewriting Temple's history books. He's just 33 points shy of breaking Bernard Pierce for the most career points at Temple. Don't forget the Owls have a bye week before hosting South Florida on October 6th in their first Big East game over the homecoming weekend. Thanks for stopping by, Brandon. Thank you, Danielle. Thanks. Danielle, how do you think your golf game is? My golf game? Well, I think there's always room for improvement. How about you, Seth? I mean, I swing a mean three iron, if you know what I'm talking about. All right. Are you busy this weekend? Maybe um, we can try it out after. Let's see. All right, why don't we go in the nest well, first? Let's take though. a look. In its first competition of the season, Temple Golf placed third out of 15 teams at the Navy Fall Classic. Now, I know how you're going to answer this, but I want you to answer it differently. But you're going to ask me the question I'm going anyway. to ask you anyway. Um, I know last year, and just talking with you, I say, what game are you most excited for? And you say, we're going to start with Kent State. It's the first game, that's what I'm excited for. I don't want that answer. I want to know, what are you most excited for? Be sure to get down to the link on Saturday where the Owls take on Maryland for its second game of the season. Kickoffs at noon. Although Madison Square Garden is a historic venue, the chance at knocking out a national powerhouse two years in a row is something the Owls will not take lightly. After Saturday's win, Matthews earned his fourth A-10 Rookie of the Week award. He will have one last chance to keep his streak alive as Temple finishes its fall season this weekend at the St. Barnabas Health Intercollegiate in New Jersey. Chase, back to you. One of the features of this brand new facility includes an interactive touchscreen TV where you can find out about former players and coaches as well as your current house. This technologically advanced software allows you to view players' bios and profiles. And Temple had a lot to celebrate this past weekend, including homecoming and their first Big East Conference game dating back to 2004. Nothing else left to do but bring home a Big East win. And Montel Harris makes sure it comes back to Broad Street. A 35-yard run seals the deal. And Temple takes home its first Big East win of the season, 37-28. to After Jeff Watney graduated, you took on all kicking duties for the Owls. Tell me how you got that position. Well, when I came in as a freshman, uh, Jeff was a punter and Jake Brennan were kicking. We're here at McPherson Square Park. As you can see behind me, members from the Philadelphia Flyers, Wells Fargo, and members of the community have come together to build a park in less than six hours. And if you can believe it, Danielle, her first career hat trick, she scored another one the next day. It's pretty impressive. It's like six and 26 hours. I mean, we should try and do six shows in 26 hours. You Sounds think? like a good idea. With Temple Golf being a year-round sport, these guys spend a lot of time together, and they can tell you a little bit more about themselves than I can. More than 500 participants came out today for the inaugural Flyers Charities 5K and Fun Run, but activities were not just limited to the race. There was also a family fun center that consisted of Halloween-themed activities. While the game against Nova wasn't a Big East game, there is a certain level of increased excitement when it comes to this year's Temple Owls, thanks to the new conference. So how does it feel seeing this all come to life today, seeing everybody out here and actually seeing the park go up? For everything Owl Sports, you can find us online 24-7 at owlsports.com. Until next Thursday, I'm Danielle Maslany. Second down. Second down.